Hey everybody, what's up? Let's go on a on a voyage, a maiden voyage by what does that say? Mustang Gel, Mustang Tell, right? Dark Pulse. Maybe. Dark Pulse is here. Hey, Titanic. Oh, that's that. a good sign. Is this a lack of confidence uh, issue when you're talking when you're comparing yourself to the Titanic? Yeah, I mean that's not a good <laughs> thing to compare yourself to. Sure. Is he expecting these maps to sink? Anywho, uh, it looks like it's very ocean themed. And I guess I saw the author talk about he was, um, he's been around since 30 years before Doom, and now 30 years later he's getting back, he's, he's mapping for the first time, which is kind of interesting. That makes him, what, about 92? Thereabouts. He might have actually seen the Titanic. Oh shit, he might be right off the Titanic and then got a penchant for Doom happening. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, first maps, and he made them in two months, very rigorously, so I assume, like, that's get up, map. Eat a bowl of Cheerios, take a shit, map, 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 sleep, map, eat, map, sleep, right? Two months, a whole megawatt? What do you think? Well, I mean, I know certain people have done an entire megawatt in 24 hours, so that's lazy to me. 20... I did one in three days, if that's what you're talking about. No, I think there are some that have done them in, like, 24 hours. That's crazy. I did a pocket clips in three days. I think they're uh, limit-removing maps. This map is called Setting Sail. Pretty ambitious for a start. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna turn the music down though, just to make sure people can hear whatever we're saying. Our glorious voices. That's what everybody's here for, not the maps. Might get some more guests too. It's kind of refreshing though, because I want to support people starting out. And honestly, a lot of people starting out are usually annoying kids, so. <laughs> Somebody who's been around for a while, who's um. I mean, it, it kind of amuses me that it can still be a kid for like a thirty-year-old game. Yeah, people like fresh out of the womb are like making Doom maps. What the fuck? Yeah. No, joke. And I saw this guy must be. I think I think he said he's British and he's about sixty, maybe. But like, which is you fine. Know. I mean, shoot. There, there's uh, no such thing as an age limit on good maps. Exactly. No, I love it. Because they have a totally different mentality when you're, like, a fully grown person. Absolutely. And I want to see what he comes up with here. So we'll play a few of these, and uh, I might bounce in and out of these throughout my travels. As you do. These doors don't open. This is a hefty They're... pile of room right here. Yeah. Yeah, it probably opens up when you hit that switch behind the blue door, but of course for that you need a blue key. Nice 360. Oh, thank you. You just, like, completely deep that demon. <laughs> Alright, we're out here now. Oh, chain gunner's on oh, the ledge. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a surprise. First time maps. And he's already got some, like... There's stuff to it. We can tell he's played Final Doom. These wide open chain gunners are a menace. Well, you know what they say. Don't be a menace to South Central while drinking your juice in the hood. Uh, sure. References Clippy has not gotten. 37. <laughs> Hopefully more people show up and understand what you're saying. Oh. Well, if they don't, I can just befuddle everybody who's watching this later. I'm sure some of our lovely audience will get exactly what I'm talking about. Like, the other 90% will be like, what the fuck is he doing? Whoa. Definitely, a trap a lot of people have when they first start mapping is having no, like, concept of, like, how big room should be. Just yeah. A little girthy. <laughs> no big deal. I mean, they're definitely a little, uh, like you said, a little too spacious and a little too sparse. But I mean, phobia it's, where it's... you have like fear of a lot of stuff. <laughs> Omniphobia? I don't know. Big room phobia. I mean, I I should say though, in all fairness, like this is not necessarily bad. It's like, with a little more detail, this would actually be good. It's it's almost better to give yourself too much room than too little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. oh, at least with something like this, 
at least with something like this, you can do a polish pass later, go over it and be like, okay, I can add a little bit here, a little bit there, you know, to make to make the room more visually interesting. Whereas if it's already too cramped from the start, you know, that's just straight up impossible. Remnants in map one, bud. Setting the tone right away. Just got the teleports figured out. Like, these are first first time maps. I'm impressed that, like, who out of the gate, and I mean literally out of the gate, decides to make an entire megawad? Hey. A, a whole lot of people, but very few actually manage to succeed. And he got some top tier community talent on the music too. Oh yeah, the the the, the musicians. Mhm. Mm some of the good ones will really uh, help your maps for sure. You can make a terrible map, but the music's kicking. Helps. Yeah. So now that switch should open those doors. Along with a couple of cherries. This fight's a little too much for a one shot gun, but that's all right. Having Doom 1 flashbacks here. <laughs> I don't mind that. I played Doom 1 first. The people who tend to be more annoyed by that probably played Doom 2 first. But I mean, to be fair, it can be annoying if you're having to deal with, like, you know, Hell Knights and Barons and things that are really, like, bullet spongy and you still oh, wow. only got a regular shoddy. Yeah. Like, like, if you're going to pull the, you know, player shotgun and only has the shotgun for a while instead of the SSG don't go for like the really heavy hit point heavy monsters this music is like an amalgamation of other music isn't it yeah yeah I mean obviously you can hear the chords from E1M1 in there now what I feel like Chicken there's butt. definitely some copy and paste going on here. Oh, shit. Why is there a party down here all of a sudden? Well, they were so excited they just had to see you. I mean, you know, you were telling everybody, hey, get ready, I'm going in, and they were like, okay. So here they are. Yeah, this is easy to set up infighting with this much room, honestly. Get some of them Hell Knights in the Bone Zone. See, though, he did do good on this, because by the time you even went down there and had to deal with them, you had the super shoddy. Oh, I wish that killed him. That would have been so cool. Nice little arch work there. Yeah. Ceiling's higher there's... than the sky. And there's still one more secret, four more monsters. Give. Brown. Hey, where's the red? Well, when in doubt, auto map it out. Oh, you haven't okay. even there's the red. Yeah. How about right now? Not next really to the... not really that visible because of the way they were side on, yeah. Wait, what about that door that never opened? What door that never opened? I don't know. Um Do we do we do it? Do we do it? Did we did it? Um for the most part, my sin one secret, two monsters. A for Avengers. You start off in a little room. Yes. Tell me why so. Alright, yeah, I'm not gonna rip the plumbing out of the walls and try to find the secrets today. Oh, there goes the Titanic! <laughs> this doesn't have title patches. You're gonna have to read the map names to me. Um... Ooh, let me pull up the list then, real quick. This is... That was Setting Sail, and Map Whoa. 2 is Basements. Can't let the door shut on those guns or I lose my guns. Oh, yeah. It's coming down. Alright, now you don't want to worry about it. Let's see if it would actually... I don't. It might jib the one, and that's about it. That was the hardest thing that happened to me yet. Out of all the things you played, that was the hardest? 
out of the things I played right now. Well, I mean, we're only into map two, so we're just getting started, my man. <laughs> oh, there's plenty of bullets in there. Oh. And now you're gonna need them. Oh, but you get shotgun ammo back now, too. Right now, you're just alternating between which ammo do I run out of. That got a little spammy. Alright. Jumping's not allowed, I think the guy said. A free look is okay, because that's my jam. Yeah. Well, jump, you wouldn't be able to reach that even if you jumped anyway. So, yeah, there's another way to lower that somewhere. Maybe there. Next misalignment? Nope. Oh, that that's just a misalignment, though. That's a genuine that's one. misalignment. Yeah, alignment is one of the, is honestly probably the hardest part for any, like, person new to Doom to master just because it's so finicky. Like, it's not like a modern 3D engine where you can just arbitrarily set it up and there you go. Like, so much depends on other shit and it's messy. It's not for the faint of heart. It's a little bit of thought here. I have to uh, make sure I don't fall behind on my gun supply. Yeah. Well, right now you got, you know, a decent amount of shells and about half of the bullet ammo that you can hold. So you're doing, like, fairly good ammo-wise. Just try not to grab new shotguns until you're below, you know, 46. Well, don't waste shots either, damn. Oh, sorry. You, I mean, I mean, you don't know how tight he's gonna make the ammo. Like, right now it might be good, but he might, you know choke back on the on the supply yeah you got everything in here oh not the med kits med kits I think that when you left you did get one of them chain guns crushed oh well oh no Got the door pegging going, the doors look nice, tracked yep. wise. This guy did his homework. He didn't fuck around. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've absolutely seen way, way worse. Like, right now, the only thing is really just how to make these, you know, big rooms feel a little less, you know, plain. And that's really about it. Otherwise, like, the flow is fine. Good flow. You know, yeah. And even that could, you know, arguably be nitpicky. Maybe he just likes, you know, really wide open combat and likes the ability to, you know, likes to give the player the ability to move around. Because something like realizing, you know, how exactly to hem in the player but make it fear, that's that's actually still fairly tricky to do, so. Yeah. You gotta hem those jeans. Yeah. Else you won't be able to go to the water park. Because that's the number one weapon that any Doom player actually has, is their mobility. So, taking that away while still making it fair is really the challenge of most fights. Ugh. Nobody wants to go you on know, a mystery portal. Nobody wants to do you that. You don't want to tempt it? I want to go out there, but I don't want to waste that armor. Let's see what this happens. I bet this is going to do a thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, it really is going to do a thing. Holy shit. Okay, so now the amount of room in this space is justified. Because you're going to need it to get around this much. And he's sending out a bunch of little minor baddies for cleanup, too. Damn it. You're going to get cornered. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are, because they're coming from both sides. Yeah, but there's a lot of sides. Two. 
<laughs> I wish I used infighting better here. They are a little bit. I think it's mostly the Hell Knights that are left alive now, though, so yeah, now it's on you. But at least they're Hell Knights, so they go down in a few rockets, and if need be, you can shotgun them. Or yeah, duke it out. All right, duke I it out, out the... DC. I never figured this out. I won't. I mean, I think those like little like alcoves are just like decoration, like decorative. I swear I heard but... a noise when I pressed one of them. Didn't I? Didn't I though? I think that might have just been you ripping some ass, but I'm not sure. One of these made a fucking noise. I know it did. Did the noise happen to be oomph? <laughs> oh, I wasted it anyway. Oh! This counts as a secret, I guess. Well, there's five secrets in the map. And there is still that mystery teleporter you never took. I guess that's the next thing to do. Oh. But at least it gets you to the red key door. So he's thinking. This guy's going hard on the low tiers. Which is fine. I mean, it's it's early in the map set. and Honestly, I don't like it when, like, mappers decide, hey, I've got to throw the whole bestiary at you on map one. You know? True, 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 true. Good, good wads, in my opinion, have, like, a good ramp up curve. And it's not like he's being, like, super, you know, stingy. I mean, there was Revenants and Hell Knights in the last map. But it's it's not like he's throwing, like, Archies at you on map one, you know? When you barely got anything to deal with them. Wow, did you see that super slight texture alignment? That was that was slick. Uh, one very, pixel very fucking subtle. alignment. <laughs> one pixel, yeah. That was the old school way of doing it, for sure. One get? pixel off. You I got a forgot. box of rockets. Alright, that's something, I suppose. Well, oh, that's got you back Dorman. up into double digits on those, so yeah. Ooh, squishy. Most useless imps in the world record go to them. Oh, come on. Not those guys who are doing the exact same thing? No, those guys are a little better because they were behind the setting, yeah. Oh, hello. Nice. Wow, that is, I like that secret. That was a good one. So that's how you got that blue armor that was at the start. But the Megasphere, Soul Sphere still eludes me. Was there, was there a misalignment back there in that thing? Where, what? Where are we looking at? Back, back like, around the bend. Oh, default texture alert. Yeah, that that should be fixed. But it looked like, like there was a subtle shift, like, to your left. Like, maybe I was just seeing shit. Now there's a little micro brick here happening. Yeah. There's definitely a line def in there. Or a dot. There's a dot. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's what I saw out of the corner of my eye. I don't know. There might be something. I was going to say there might be something on that opposite wall, too. Like when you jumped off the crate to the other crate, there might have been yeah. something a little bit further up. It does look like a thing, but it doesn't do anything. No, no, I'm talking about the other one. Like, not that one. The one that you were just at was the one that the blue armor was on, and then you jumped across to the one across it. I'm saying something might be in that wall beyond that crate, but I don't know. Like, if you, like, walked off the crate, you know what I mean? Nope, solid, okay. Well, thanks for trying. <laughs> I mean, that would have been a clever way, that would have been a clever place to put a secret. That's honestly where I probably would have put one. Make the player think that they got, you know, a good secret, 
And and when players get a secret, they don't necessarily think about there might be another secret right there. A couple of fatties, but you got rockets, so no problem. And it even gives you a few more back. Oh, a candle shining in the darkness. Gee, I wonder what that's about. Well, it's about you getting shot right now. All right, they're dead. <laughs> Those guys are not, though. Yeah, that this would have needed a little more pressure to keep me back there. So we get away. Yeah. Multiple doors I'm, I'm opening not... with shit happening would have been more scary. Yeah, I'm not sure if he's thinking quite on that level yet. The mapper, I should say. He's thinking the right things, he's just not thinking, you know, the right ways to shut off avenues of escape. Because that's, that's going to be the common thing. Whenever a door opens and there's a whole bunch of baddies, the first instinct that most well-seasoned players are going to have is to try to get away from them to somewhere where they can confront them and they know that everything behind them is usually dead. So that's when you put in, you know, your extra closets and shit like that or otherwise cut off the avenue of escape. What's that map called? That was called Basements, and the next map coming up is one that I'm sure you're going to love. This is Baron Manor. Oh, no. Play a few more of these, maybe. Baron now Manor, full of all the Baron doors. Oh, you can just get out, yeah. I guess I'm supposed to... This feels very similar to the first map. Not really? The start of it with the kind of design there. Hmm, maybe. I was going to say, because it's like the first one started you off in that little room. But then, like, after that's the courtyard and stuff, yeah. Still not out. So then that probably opened up another switch. There's a misaligned texture. But that might be like a switch that opens up later on. You're trying to get a the shot way in the back, that, bud. Yeah, because the way that it was like centered like that, that, that looks like something that'll open up later. But then where's the other switch that you gotta flip? Because it's like you can't open the door yet. Everything is dead here. Oh, there it is. Fuck! <laughs> Open! Alright, this is getting a little too switchy. Yep, and uh, that's exactly what it was. Okay. So yeah, I do need to fix that misalignment, but yeah, that just hit the switch. And now you are in the Baron Manor properly. You just opened the Baron door. But first, those pinkies are going to chomp on that chain gun. Oh! He got eight. Yeah, it's a shame if these stairs are water they could get out, but they also maybe that's also a design intentional, so they can't. Possibly. Let me go back up here. I think I left a stim pack. No, did you? Didn't I not? I ate it. I don't think so. I ate it. You already chewed and swallowed that. All right. Well, fine. So. It. Now it's being converted into waste matter. You got stairs, you got levels. Oh. You got imps. Got a very big hall. And one of those imps is firing at something, but you just killed it. I'm not a fan of the long range chain gunners or, you know, pistol guys in a wide open area like this. Awkward. Oh, this is perfect chain gun sniping territory. What the hell is going on up there? Oh, I'm gonna get shot. Oh, there's a lot of meat hanging up there. Jeez. What is this, like their freezer oh, area? I almost dodged into that shit. And 
it's suddenly a fat guy. Yeah. One that you really can't see because it's fairly dark up there. Oh, shotgun point blank. You trying to get them to fight? Uh, I'm trying to do something. Trying to do something. Oh, here we go. Health at just the right time. And yes, let's get some infighting going. Hello. Dog who is not cat steps in. Hey, cat dog. Was what? Show? Yes, it was. Alone in the world with a little cat dog. Oh, you made it. Yeah, how are, how are for... these maps going? Not too bad so far. They're pretty good maps, uh, especially for like a first time mapper. Definitely very spacious though. Yeah, I think everyone when they're starting out mapping has their, their vices and overly spacious maps is a common one. Yeah, I mean, and that's not necessarily a bad thing either. It just results in all of your maps being easy. Which, I don't know, I felt, I played a little bit of this and I felt like it was, difficulty-wise, really soft. Which, and here I like was Dark feeling good about said, myself. You could, you, you left that box of shells back there, Clippy. You could get what? it. You were, Where? There's a box of shells up there. It's in one of right the there, corners. to your left. Right there. Wow, yeah, I had shell blindness. Yeah. I thought it was a med kit. Ah, whatever. Yeah, first time making a mega wad. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm catching my wife's cold. But yeah, this is the first time the guy's making uh, any maps at all, and he went full megawatt right out the gate. I wonder if this is going to have that thing where you can see the mapper progress in technique strongly uh, over the first couple of I don't of know if he put them in the actual order that he made them, but... Oh my mm. god. How far did you get there, Large Cat? I played some of map one and then peeked around a little bit. What am I at, three? You're three. on three, yeah. You're about halfway through three. There were some awesome. screenshots I looked at that looked very, like, cool and evocative, even if they were, detail-wise, fairly barren. And honestly, that's something that comes with seasoning. I will say that I would prefer a mapper that, even if there's, you know, like, wide open areas and stuff like this, good flow is important, and he does have very good flow so far. I like the stair design. So, so the detail is something, the detail and the size is always something that could be, you know, worked on. Having good flow, that's essential to get from the get-go. Gotta have that flow, yeah. Oh yeah, library. Those guys must really hate books. An issue I was running into with some of these MIDI selections is that they do just remind me of the map I originally saw them from. <laughs> Maybe robbing some of these of their own identity a little bit. I, I went hard on um, sigil tunes without realizing it because I just like Jimmy's tunes. And everybody's uh -huh. like, these are all sigil tunes. And uh, I mean, yeah, sigil is some top tier work from Jimmy, so. Oh my god, it's so good. Why can't I make that easy last maneuver? It's actually a wider gap than it seems. Looks like a 128 units, which should be pretty doable with that level of run-up. As long as he's got momentum. The problem is it's hard to get the momentum. It's You're very just time narrow. to see me fucking spend all day jumping on top of bookshelves. Oh, really? We gotta go back. <laughs> Are we do we're, just to be clear, we're doing this for three clips of bullets. Just checking. Well, he was trying to. Yeah, I think he was trying to get the shotguns too, but he didn't realize I'm cheap, he was okay. shotgun ammo. You're thrift. I'm a, I'm a scrounger. Thrift shop. You got twenty bullets in your pocket, or whatever. Was there any more medkits up there? I think there was. Mm, I don't think so. I think there's one. I was wrong. See, I know my surroundings sometimes. Yeah, the real difficulty of these maps is being misled by Dark Pulse. I like this banquet hall. 
I prefer not to think of it as misleading, and I prefer to think of it as, like, directionally challenging you. Yeah, a little, uh... little metagame. Yeah. Did I do all the shit to do down here, I wonder? Pretty sure you did. This feels like a moment of, like, discovering these for the first time and just, like, stick them all over here. Yeah, you gotta have a little decoration zoo from time to time. Decoration zoo. Uh, what the hell is this place? Podium to nowhere. Well, this is the Baron Manor. I never figured out what this did. I guess I opened maybe the other side of the who knows what. So yeah, far it's been pretty possible. straightforward to figure out, but now I'm getting a little bit... Maybe that door at the top of the stairs is open. I don't know. Is this door up here open yet? <laughs> now you got me thinking of that movie, The People oh, blue. Under the Stairs. Blue! Ah, there's a nice little couple beds in there. Perfect for a little snooze. Give me your but obviously beer. individual beds. These chain Ah, uh, someone's in the together. toilet. Someone's in the toilet. I thought it was a fridge. Could be a fridge. Is handsome, though? <laughs> nah, not particularly. We got our own. Don't it looks rather own. beat up and honestly, like, it needs a little bit of a paint job. And I don't like Could that be ruggedly room. handsome. Got yeah, plenty of room to figure stuff out. He has got a double decker shitter fridge. Yeah. Yeah, Hell Knights eat twice as much as chain gunners, I can believe that. Watch there be none in the oh well, see yeah. See, if you were gonna continue the joke, I would have said the revenant should have had no fridge at all because they don't need to eat, but uh -huh. they missed have opportunity other there, sir. Needs. Wow. I wasted way too many shots on that. <laughs> they got the red bed sheet though. So doing a little better there. Like, do they even need the blankets? They don't feel any cold. They have no skin. I assume these were, like, dormitories assigned to them just based on rank or something without taking into account individual needs. There's some storytelling here. Yeah, I mean, the chain gunners had to share a fridge slash shitter, depending upon your interpretation. Please explain, if you're the mapper watching this. We need to know all the <laughs> lore of the... <laughs> all that shit. Say it. Oh, you get tan bed sheets? Yikes. I'd rock tan bed sheets. Nah, blue all the way. If I could get comp blue bed sheets, that would be crazy, actually. I'm sure there's some service out there on the internet that's like, hey, you know, take a picture and we'll put it on this bed sheet. I'm probably. Whoa, what am I doing down here? Ooh. Getting shot right now? I have seen an advertisement for the star tan t-shirt, so. The interest is there. Oh, there's a party. There's a party. There's a party. <laughs> Clippy is just playing matchmaker right now, getting all these separate parties together. Man. Clippy loves taking the monsters and making them shove their balls up other monsters' asses. You know? Yeah. <laughs> That's what his videos are about. Where's the head for the red kid? There they are, okay. Oh, that would've been cool if they both fell down. Whoa, that's a Baron. Oh, come on, you can punch a single Baron out. Uh, save that for Jake Paul on his next freak fight. Is that thing with him and Mike Tyson still on? Because I heard like he was trying to get it like cancelled by pretending he was injured. 
<laughs> uh, uh, he's gonna get yeah, they, murdered. It's gonna be great. I, I, I feel like the, the stories about them threatening each other and then trying to get it cancelled is like the whole event and there yeah. is no fight planned. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's, it's fanfare, but... Still, I hope Mike Tyson like, wrecks them hard. Who showed up? It's hi, fanfare hi and will be filled in with fanfic. Oh, Lamp, can you be like 50 times louder? Maybe. Yeah, can you scream? Not for the video, we're just asking if you can do it. Ah, fuck! Yeah, I think you can do it. Yeah, I'd say so. I don't know if that was in response to the prompt or if there's a murderer in the house, but... It, it sounded like B-movie acting at best, honestly. I'm not gonna lie. Ah, so it sounded like Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah. What the hell are these rooms? You know, my storage. storage. There's a nice murder thing. happening in here. I'm eating Cheetos, I don't care! And that makes me want to reach for my box of Cheez-Its. What kind? Um, I usually just either get the original, but the extra cheesy is real nice, too. Four cheese is the correct answer. Well, maybe up there, sir. But down here in America, we swing ah! different. You're, like, hardly less north than I am. I mean, I, I mean you are technically north of me, but not by that much, oh. yeah. See, I'm not a fan of these type of scenarios. Oh, happening. this is fine. Just oh, snipe think... them. Oh, yeah, there were there was someone complaining about this type of encounter on the thread. Master that chain gun tap. The reflecting pool, that's a nice touch. Yeah. Oh, you're yeah, all about you, pools can and you jump in there? stuff. Yeah. I can actually. Can you, I jump, want a you could probably jump in there from above. He could from the top, yeah. yeah. I think there's a secret. He could uh, with the mapping format, I don't think there could be, but I'll get in you there could for You put like a know. flat bleed in there to hide a secret. Yeah. I'll wash my. Oh, bleed. there is a switch oh. behind there, though. Did you see that cheeky little switch? No. Yeah, nothing. Maybe there's coins in there. <laughs> I love you that switch up behind all the, switch. the hell pennies that the demons were trying to put in there for good luck. <laughs> I wanted more though than a rock box of rockets. I wanted more. Enough with your hay pennies. It's hell pennies time. Really now? Well, there is such a thing called hell money. Do you guys know that? The what icon else would the whole economy run on? Don't Inter worry, that was Baron Manor. Oh, nice. Does Super not video. replace the does not replace the level title. Does replace the intermission graphic. Yeah, How long have I been doing this? Map, you should I don't remember when I started. Nothing. What? Sorry. Um, yeah. I didn't hear what you said, bud. <laughs> uh, yeah, the title graphics. If you're not going to name your maps, then you might as well just like erase title graphics so that it says nothing there. Oh, you can do that? You can put in a blank graphic. Yeah, replace the graphic with something that's just blank. Maybe we'll Map do like the first five. You. They're getting hefty. Alright. Maybe I'll just stop at four. Who knows what I'll do. Well, now you're in France, because this is Bastille. So you're in the Bastille now. You went from the Baron Manor to the Bastille. Okay, that wasn't working out so great. <laughs> no. You just got chewed in the face. Just trying to be cool. Yeah, not trying to get in fighting with hit scanners is just a thing that has to happen naturally. You can't force it. I will say the monster count has considerably gone up. Yeah, that's why this might be my last one. <laughs> Maybe there will be a slaughter fight. Somebody's munching on something. Yep, I'm having my cheeses, like I said. Yeah, you got those Are you eating your keyboard? Nope. Yeah, in I America, mean, that, they that type those cheeses. Anyway. <laughs> what is that, the feature? 
Yeah, in other countries, you have to suck the Cheeto dust off your fingers before you type. Here, the keyboard gives you the Cheeto dust, so it gives you a delicious snack. And you can still suck your fingers. Mm -hmm. Whoa, that's a fat guy. I've never interpreted the chain gunners as fat. No? They're just big no. bones. Look at look at their biceps. They'll, they'll mess you up. Those they're guys like are using the, they're like that kind before. of fat that's like brick, you know? Like More they're like, stocky as fuck, but they'll rip your ass in half. Yeah, like strongman kind of build. Yeah, that's a good way to put it, actually. These guys are really in like fortified fucking gun patrolled shit. Man, imagine putting a full-on crenellated wall that. Doom guy could just mantle up onto. Confidence in something. Oh my god. Pardon me. Well, now you've made things spicy, would be. Yeah, this is definitely that genre of map where it's easy if you go slow, but it would go super hard if there were like some threat behind you forcing you to push ahead fast. There's caca demons happening. Oh, I do know I can get up here. That's kind of cool. It's a pretty nice little design with the castly doodads. The ramparts. Can't go wrong with battlements and ramparts and such. I'm back. I oh. Had no, your lamp. Like it had to be, and then I got distracted. Still coming in quite low, unfortunately. Oh. Oh, hello. There you go. Oh, better Try that. Put the you microphone put... up to your schnoz and You gotta speak. put it at your mouth part where you talk, and then we'll hear you. The schnoz yeah. the mouth? No, it's the nose, technically. Technically, okay. Alright, I kind of like this area after all. Alright. Oh, I think that was a temporary button. Well, you're like a fifth of the way through the map, so this is shaping up to be a 20 minute map. Yeah, I might have to stop. <laughs> I thought for sure a second room was going to open. Your expectations have been subverted. And I had great expectations, too. Ho 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 ho! Wah, wah. Listen to this man plugging his map set in another yeah, person's that's, that's map disgusting, set. that's disgusting, Flippy. This is supposed to be about this map set. <laughs> I thought Canadians were better neighbors than that, eh? Now, is this guy American? British. 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 Oh, right. British. Yeah, so. Although, I guess first time mapper, you... by the way, Lamp British. First time senior mapper guy. Oh. Yeah. Not a little kid. Yeah, Clippy earlier was saying that, like, he's about, like, 60, I guess. I well, like he said he's layouts. been around since 30 years before Doom came out, so. Yeah, I mean, basing it off of that. That's the numbers. The best part about mappers getting started is that they can take feedback and use it without getting mad. And their world traveled and, you know, the knowledge yeah, of life this... is yeah. a factor. Yeah. This mapper has seen this location in he's real life. He's seen things. <laughs> and now he's making this whole place spicy. Excuse me. Nope. <laughs> the yeah. grinder. So in the future, maybe <laughs> you want to have multiple. Like this, you'll be gone in no time. You want to have multiple teleport exits, so you can't do bullshit like this. If there was like five or six exits around this area, then they'd be coming out of more than one point, and you know. Be worse. I don't know. That's still always funny to me. Oh, it's amusing to see. They're just like teleporting right to their death. 
they just appear and die immediately. <laughs> like, 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 hey, they're here for my job. First day on the job. Oh. They're not even getting time to turn around. They're just getting shot in the back and they're done. Or if you just trap the player on that low ground for a while and let the monsters come in, and then by the time they're able to get back up, they, it's a problem. You can do some real lever shit, and when you pick up the key, steps raise, and then steps off screen to monster teleporters also raise. You have to wait for the steps to come up before you get out, and all sorts yeah. of shit you can do. That's a, a little more advanced shit. Have we encountered any situations where the player gets trapped in an, trapped in an encounter yet? I don't think I've been trapped yet, no. I wonder if that's going to happen later on. It's I'm going to super duper play through trapped. this later, so I'll we'll get to see. Nice. Well, Clippy Land has that theory, or, or somebody in here had that theory where it might improve as like the maps go on. Yeah. This is a full I'm on. I'm just going to play like a few of them because they're getting hefty. In fact, I might be done after this. I don't know. Hefty, hefty, hefty. I was hoping to do the first I'll play five, through it and maybe. let you know the highlights. Yeah. Large Cat is a seasoned, um, very good Doom player. Played all my critic expectations. I'll talk about my maps again. Played them all super fabulously good. Good stuff. They do get spicy at the end. I, I'll be floored if this map set takes that level of difficulty turn, getting into like episode <laughs> three. I didn't mean to pull a scythe, but uh, that's just kind of what happened. I just kind of just kept, but it went too far in a few places. A chain gunner, nasty. Former chain gunner now. I definitely want some more weapons at this point. Don't I have the super? I don't. You don't. I'm a known single shotgun stan. You've got you a chain gun. gun that's about it. Two revenants, oh my god. This is hard. Quote Decino, oh no, it's slaughter. <laughs> I like the little cubby hole for the chain gunners that you can actually access. Like, when you can actually get in there, I like that. One of my yeah, favorite he's... types of secret is the one where you put chain gunners in a seemingly inaccessible area on a map that otherwise has no chain gun, and then getting up there is a secret. Yeah, that is so a cool thing to do. Always does it for me. These little closets with the imps, though, are kind of pointless. It'd probably be better just to have imps roaming around. Is that a makeable jump? There's no way you can make that. There's no way? All right, you're the no, expert. I trust no you. That's, that's a little too wide, yeah. It looks like 256 units, which is too big. That was nice. I like that. Yeah, I think the most you can do is like about 164, and that's if you SR50. If you're stray 50 and you can theoretically make up to 194 units, I believe. Oh, I was off by 30. Well, I remember two of the digits. Map has all the stats that, that's and figures. Both platforms are at the same height, or what? The that's fucking assuming, shit. Yeah, two same height platforms. I didn't like that. ENT <laughs> moment. Well, clearly that's a secret. Oh, it is. It does have brown. Oh, I do like it. I love lines. it. That's great. <laughs> yes, because oh, Clippy got to stick his straw into the blue sphere and suck all of its potent life energy out. Oh, time for another thread about what does the soul sphere taste like? Why'd you have to make a sexual? He's up on the chips, bud. This is an ASMR stream. I'm done with him for a while. Well, I hope so. You just crammed like 50 of them in your face. Yes, I did. And really, it sounded like you had like a really big one that you <laughs> made crunch one bit at a time. <laughs> Something got raised. The bridge got raised somewhere, maybe. Let's lift it up. No, it just raised that little wall. Oh, yeah. probably that gap that we were talking about jumping through. Oh, probably. yeah, that yeah, was it asshole, wasn't it? That's probably what it was. I'm just taking one last parting shot around wow, here. successful game design. Telegraphed a thing to us. Yeah, like, you know what? So many people are inept at, like, signal posting what the hell you're supposed to do. So, map, get, that, uh, get that down early. Getting you stuff. Telling you stuff. Are you looking right. for stuff, or are you just going for a jaunt? I don't know. I don't even know. Don't mind me. Just trying to loosen okay. up the tw exactly right. Oh my god! Wow, look at the bridge. Oh, and over here too. One. 
Excuse me, I'm trying to look in a door, asshole. Well, fuck you too, buddy. Asshole? Takes you yeah. right to him. I love it. Takes Clippy, you right I to didn't, him. I didn't know you were into dirty stuff like that. Fucking f oh, nice. Oh, no black in <laughs> there, huh? I wonder if there's something good on top of that crate you just. I know. Oh, you could have gotten there. the mega armor. Yeah. Okay, I thought it was a mistake. Nice. Ah, it's totally a secret. So I don't know. I'd say the safest thing for if the what the soul sphere tastes like is probably whatever your favorite thing is. Like, is it different for each person? Basically, yeah. Oh. Or is it like the soul who's trapped in it seems like it would determine the flavor? At least the way I'm thinking of it. Oh man, that would be terrible. What if it was like angels with filthy souls or something like that? Ugh. So, hey, if you want another 100% health, you gotta be ready. Yeah. Keep the change, you filthy animal. Like there'd be for like for some people it would be like heathen-y shit like pineapple pizza, you know. Ugh. And for some people it'd be four cheese cheeses. Yeah. Four cheese. That's the one. Clippy, would you like to drink some four cheese cheeses and get a hundred percent health? I wonder if that's a lift. Nope, I wish it was. No. Not everything with support three is a lift, unfortunately. <laughs> Used to be a rule about that. Fighting a cyber demon or something? Rocket Next time launcher. a new mapper says, what are the rules of mapping, I'll say, you always need to make support 3 a lift. Like, this guy's time. got things figured out that a lot of people don't figure out. Like, the key is so far in, I'm not going to be able to skip that line, Def. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, hello. Oh, that almost prevents you from leaving the room. And he ran into it, so now it actually does, and he gets clawed up a bit. He wants to add a little interest for the viewers. I don't think I was uh, mentally prepared for whatever this is. Fuck. Pretty cool. I like this. Sloppy in this up a bit, but... Like, this yeah. is obviously the bulk of the monster count in the map right here. Yeah. Well, this is something different. So you're keeping it fresh, keeping it interesting. Some guy left a kind of lackluster reply saying that, you know, it was kind of repetitive, but... I don't feel that yet. I was going to say earlier, all the tunnels and stuff, leading behind stuff, kind of remind me of a crater, I think, from TNT. Oh, I kind of yeah. like that map. Not quite crater level scale, but yeah, no. maybe we'll get there. Alright, I guess I gotta go find a red key door. You have the red key, yeah. Door. I was about to say the door, maybe, door. yeah. Oh. Whoa. Oh my god. That's a little awkward. Yeah. Oh shit. Bad dodge. Those are all the guests that couldn't get to the proper party and like, you know, were like turned away at the gate. Because they can't get to you because that bridge doesn't actually like completely bridge that. Yeah, I was just wondering if that was like intentional to prevent guys from getting over later. I mean, there's other ways to do that too. Could you just put down a block monster line def, but... That reminds me of the old hell revealed. Remember when the pinkies just stopped on that bridge? And now they're playing with each other. You... Oh, that one got down somehow. Oh, Clippy, do you not have the correct compatibility mode? What? What's supposed to be? Or did he take the lift somehow? Uh, there isn't a lift shit, down there to take, I thought I was on though. Doom Strict. Whatever, same difference. Hardly makes a difference. Right? Doom Strict? Yeah. So he shouldn't have fell down there, then, is what you're saying. Yeah, so your entire run is actually invalidated, sorry. Oh, fuck. Well, I want to just it's delete this well, video. Now that I'm thinking guy. about it, he actually, like, jumped over some monsters near the beginning of this video. No, I didn't. Oh, my God. I'm fairly yeah, sure he did. Yeah, I bet you, like, ran through a window that's only possible in GZ Doom at one point. That was awkward. <laughs> Headshot. So, six monsters left, one secret. There's See the exit, exit right at the start, it's kind of nifty. 
Mm, was there a red key door by the start that you've been, in principle, questing for this whole time? Oh, you haven't been up there. Yeah, there's some areas you definitely have. Oh, there's there. a red key thing. Oh, oh yeah, you can't get in there. Yeah. But they didn't there is a red fence. key door up in the northeast that you could go for. What is it? You gotta tag it, the line def as um, visible, one sided or something, so it doesn't look like you can pass through on the map and then you get confused. Oh, I never do that. You have to do that. That's I do see the switch that he's talking about, though. It's up It's up in that room, yeah, that northeast room. Okay, what am I doing? Flags, that northeast room. Show line on auto map or something like that, too. Oh, Liam. Yeah, the only problem with that is that it always shows, even if you haven't visited that room yet. So it Oh, yeah, right. That's more for signing the map, I guess. Yeah. Can you guys kindly tell me what I'm doing? North the northeast, northeast room. Northeast. North is up. Well, I can't get this way. Yeah, oh, go out there's the another door, that, through that door. door. Yeah. Oh, you can't go up there. But you can go around. Oh, you can still get over there. there. There you go. All right, yeah, yeah, the red switch is in here. Oh my god, yeah, I forgot about this. Shit, that was like ages ago. Shit. Oh. Yeah, one man. thing I haven't that figured out, oh! mapping problem I've never, <laughs> Fuck that I've up never so solved, good. is uh, making sure the player remembers a key thing that they saw a while ago. Oh, the pain man. elementals do have two holes. I almost fudged that up at the end. Oh, we're not done. <laughs> one monster, <laughs> one secret. Oh no, a circle! I'm confused why the button... for the thing. Okay. I'm always a big fan of needless fanfare for exits, so I support that. Yeah, me too. Titanic. Every map is the Titanic. Oh, Lamp, I can't wait to get your adult voice. <laughs> yeah. I gotta find that other microphone I was using before that was a lot better. <laughs> One more. What's it called? Uh, map 05 is Toxicity. Yes. <clears throat> toxicity. Oh, it's toxicity. very Toxicity. I hope Nymph doesn't fall into the river. Another, another stew boy banger. Well, this feels nice. You got the lights. I think I want to play Good this from time to time. It's a tall drink of water, but I'm going to try. Good detailing what? on them light shadows, yeah. First time map, first time megawatt. Never mapped before, and it's a full megawatt in two months, and it's actually engaging and interesting. I'm, I'm he's doing away. he's doing oh subtle, God, a, like, detail a stuff there. Behind yeah. Me? What? Yeah, this seems like... He's I don't know, level. have we seen this level of lighting? Up to now in the wad, I wonder if like this is the map where the author is like, "All right, we're gonna check out this lighting tool." It also feels like where they're doing a little more with the monsters because I, I got trained at this point to just stand and shoot, not thinking that there's gonna be something behind me happening. So, I'm starting yeah, to got starting to get a little the more involved there with the stuff. And he's really into the curly stairs too. Not many people are into the curly stairs, and that's a shame. Blow up. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought it was safety lava, but it wasn't. Now your nuke is nope. safety lava. Safety lava. Safety acid. Door or lift? No, oh, I guess it has the to be acid lift. that only tingles instead of burns. You can stay in it as long as you like, while your chromosomes slowly mutate over a period of 40 years. I'm not spending 40 years on nukage. Clippy would. He'd be like, look guys, I can float in it! Isn't this great? It's tickling my armpits! Huh, you sound red... just like Clippy when you say that. The red coating on his paperclip starts melting off. Nude Clippy, oh boy. Mm. Clippy in hard steel. Oh. Oh, oh boy, this is a lot oh. spicier than... 
Well, oh, gave you gave me a way SSG. to encounter. Yeah, the SSG is over there. Is it? Yeah, it yeah. is. Well, I just made this awkward. That's all right. Well, now you get to wait an eternity for them to start inviting. You gotta be brave. Is this the Baron? Oh, wait, there. that was the last map. Oh, you Sorry could. could just be brave. Brave? Go in there. Lower the lift. No. Get the timing just right and don't die. No. I don't want to do this. Is Clippy we're no. Where this is Clippy we're talking about. Clippy, you gotta... Shit. Why aren't they infighting? Probably because you're not really giving them a chance to. There they oh, there it is. Now you got one. Yeah. And this is the only help you're going to get. Yeah, it is a little tricky to get monsters to infight when there's like a big blocking platform for them to all spread out against. And not just that, but also that little hallway means that the Revenants generally get time to fire a shot before you can even try to get them like infighting. I fucked this mm. up. They are still trying though. That Baron is still alive. Oh, you could pack them all together with the chain gun if you wanted. Just start fighting each other, damn it. I'm telling you, you gotta get over there. Once you get on the platform over there, you can dance around and make them in fight. The only one dancing right now is Clippy. Come on, be you over here. Want, you, you, you jump down. Damn it! Uh, time that. Oh, now the Revenant's down there? This is all going to shit. But that oh, also man, means you could pick off like the Baron. All over you could just easily pick the Baron, because he's the only one down there. <laughs> now that was a default <laughs> setting, and he just fell right the fuck down. So now Clippy's gonna just completely cheese the encounter. You oh. swine. Yeah, there you go. Now all I gotta do is make it back to the teleporter. Oh! They can also use teleporter. Oh yeah, that makes sense, I guess. That's good. That's good. Oh, I thought I was gonna get it. Yeah, you could teleport over there too. Can you just yeah. fucking die, please? You get get into SSG range and then you can use the SSG. Keep or on you dancing. Can continue this little tango you're doing with the revenant missile. You know what? Come over here, guy. Come right about right about yeah, right about there. There you go. Nice. That's what happens oh. to him. <laughs> <laughs> I think I dealt with him pretty good. That was a Gordy move if I ever saw one. Here we go. Ba base room design right here. Look at that. Skylight, soft lighting, big pillars. That's a good screenshot. Mm -hmm. this situation now. Two saying Isn't this it? room is a little too green, so I'm gonna add some red to it. Given the toxic theme of this map, this is a surprisingly upbeat MIDI to choose. <laughs> We're excited about this toxicity that's going on. Yeah. This ain't no, what is it, sewer, um, sewer flow, or...? Of course it doesn't open. Mucus Why would it fucking open? Something flow, yeah. I forget what mucus it was flow. called. Top of mucus flow, that's probably it. Not mucus flow, not toxic touch. This is the happy sewer level. That's kind of an intriguing area here. Ooh, candle. You didn't flip that switch, just for the record. I know. Okay, just making sure you knew. I'm not wanting to get cognitively loaded up with too many things happening at once just yet. Oh my god, another Crate Expectations reference? <laughs> You're incorrigible. This music is, like, really nice. With, like, like, 48 channels? Oh. Did I pick up a box of shells wrong? Mm, you, uh, you wasted a lot of shells. Oh it's shit. Gonna... Hope this guy isn't too meticulous with his... Not yet. Just you wait. Gonna you should have ran through immediately. You might have telephraged that. Yeah. Yeah, I, 
I got scared. Fuck that amp in particular. All right, here goes nothing. He oh, got, got him anyway. anyway. <laughs> got him anyway. Because he couldn't He's... move. He couldn't move. Set's like, yeah, you did it, but with an asterisk. No, don't put asterisks at me. I'm not putting asterisks at you. I'm putting an asterisk at you. There's a difference. Who's this? One is a French comic character, and one is a proper actual symbol. Speaking hey. of symbols, here's Sandwich. Sandy! Oh, thank you. I'm a symbol of hope. An icon, even. Yeah, me. Uh, I didn't know you guys would be in here. This is cool. What's going yeah, on? this is the thing I do. Got any game results to spoil? Uh, actually, yes. Uh, the Colorado Avalanche are up 4-1 with four minutes left against Winnipeg in case anybody was uh, saving that game. <laughs> uh, get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they could turn it around. There's four minutes left. No. Big red cube. I'm, I'm kind of... This is the first room that made me feel like might want to maybe save. Wow, this is a hell reveal moment right here. What are Big you... Big red brick outside, grassy... Pretty bare detail. What you playing? I posted it. I posted it in the place. Yeah, I know, but I'm confused by it. Old man making maps for first time. Don't read it. Oh no. <laughs> don't. Don't wow. read it. Idiot with bad maps. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, so I, I you need to tell me the uh, the rules uh, before I go in here. So. Read well, it, don't say it. <laughs> it's not been a bad map set though, like it's it's fairly wide open, but in terms of like flow and stuff, it's actually been really good. Yeah, this oh, is seems like a nice old British first... gentleman mapping for the first time. I mean I wanna support him. Yeah, so British gentleman first time I'm collated everything in a megawatt, so you're gonna get that. I was thing just where... confused because I saw the names and I thought they were the mappers, but I guess they're the music. Yeah. A British gentleman, not an old man. Remember that. British. An old chap. A right that? bloke. Oh. Nice. I don't understand why people get... Is the other one Is the other one that. right? It looks like the other one might be right. That's all gonna fall apart now. Oh no, they're no, both they're wrong. Both. No. I will forever stand by leaving those not unpegged. I will say at least... <laughs> people I mean, need to chill. For those ones, that can be an actual thing. Yeah, I will get through. The door track like, on there is unpegged. Right, because there's like a, a little rail for a gear to slide along or something. Right. Like a door stop. Like, what, what, what is it going to move along? There's some big fucking chairs. They recline hardcore during these meetings. Yeah, this must be the room for the Americans. Look at how big those chairs are. Oh yeah, they are just kind of tall. They're booster seats for adults. Like, gentlemen, we're important. <laughs> we run an important business. Yeah, this, this table this, must be four feet high, so your chair is now two feet high. It's run exclusively by Danny DeVito's. <laughs> well, Danny DeVito would need an even taller booster chair than that. What the hell am I seeing? Grass. Wood. Brick. Is it search for the red key door part two? Oh no! Look, they got the curvies. Oh, well, they're not super curvy. They were uh, they appeared curvier than I thought they were. They're just regular curvies. It's hardly curvy. Once you discover circles, <laughs> it's curvish. Or the curve tool. Circles with our money problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ooh. Hello. Now the slaughter is on. Oh, well, he's giving you plenty kind of, of ammo, and oh. chain gunners are starting to teleport Oh boy, in. that's 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 devious. And so that right quick. Man, you buy. How much are you playing with this? This is the last one because I'm starting to wear down. Really? How far did you get? This That's is map hard. five. <laughs> Yeah, he kind of waffled between, I'm only going to play one map, and I'm going to play all 32. Oh, so, this is where he landed. Shit. So die. in between those, it's map five. <laughs> yeah, that's halfway in between all yep. and one. 
I'm not a fan of the chain gunners just out and about there like that. Out and about. Boot and a boot. Chain gunners took the tube to get over here. <laughs> oh, I'm missing them all. Wow, I'm really missing them all. They're not missing you. Oh. Well, it's not really your friend. Oh, sorry. You're outside of free <laughs> you look range. You're cheating. He said he loves free look. He posted that in the thread. He's like, please use free look. I really am all about it. And you can read those words. Read his I'll words. Read the don't words read my you words. Wrote. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get canceled quickly. No way! Don't read my words. <laughs> <laughs> can we just press this already? Room floods with our trials. Wait, yeah, that, that. that might be a mistake. An orange cat made this. Cool. It's a hundred percent of the mistakes you don't take. So might as well. this definitely has that orange cat energy. How can you miss a hundred percent of the mistakes you don't take? Like if you didn't take it, it couldn't be a mistake in the first place. Mistake. Yeah. Oh my god. It's talking about the steak. Where's Mr. Steak in here? I want some steak. <laughs> I want some cheese steak. Cheese it steak? No, that would be nasty. Crusted with cheese it? No. Actual, actual fake American cheese, thank you. I'll just like drape on there? Or yeah. is it like a stuffed steak? No, it's like draped oh. on. That thinly sliced like sandwich steak. What? Mm. But That's it's got to be made with authentic American pasteurized processed cheese food, not actual cheese. Cheese food. Yes. Oh my god. Yeah, I gotta stop playing because I I'm running out of stamina. What you get for not using the rocket launcher. Sorry. Well, everything's almost dead. You've only got 11 more monsters somewhere. See, Cliffy yeah, playing cool. a megawatt is sort of like Dark Souls because he's got the stamina bar that keeps draining real quick. It's at the bottom. You don't have the blue key yet. I want to needs... survive. <laughs> Actually, I, I just survive. realized it's even he needs a bonfire to like regain his energy. <laughs> That's no good. It's, it's I guess that would help with the towers, energy. but... Not really, because, I mean, you're playing strict, so like you probably would have actually run into more fireballs than you missed. It would help with the guys up on the ceiling there. There's no way you gotta go back. There's gotta Where be are you going? Where am I going? Where are where you where running? I wanna go. You're just, you're just running, running back to the map. Where are this? you running? Where are you running? Remember this Why part? are you going there? I don't think Sandwich's seen all this stuff. Did you see all this sandwich? Oh yeah, show me. Oh, look at this. Wow, look at this. there. Yeah. You can't, and, then, and you went through here. The other way. here? Wow. Yeah, and then, oh yeah. shit. I actually came back up to find some more health. No, this room is actually crazy. This room goes hard. Oh, it's really? This is probably where the monsters here. are, actually. Oh, yeah, you should kill those guys. There we go. I knew there was some health here somewhere. And then I went the teleporter. Okay, yeah, it's all, it's all coming back to me now. It's all coming I back. guess to UV Max that I gotta deal with some fools over here real quick. Fools They're tools. really. This, you can't tell me you don't need free look for this part. I. Okay, I guess. I mean, technically, to you me. don't. I, I feel like I could them. get that using auto, auto aim. You don't, it would yeah. just be more annoying. Yeah. I think it would be the same. If I hold my neck powers, are you jealous? Maybe a little. It would be nice if these guys got crushed or something later. Or if there were a huge telefrag party. Let's have them All walking right. around on the platform what I would do. You, you, you could leave those cubbies there, they look kind of cool. Okay, tell me when I see more imps to shoot. I think you got them. Yeah, it looks like all of them. Yeah, I'd There's say these guys I think there might just be two stinger enemies at the end of the map. Stingers. Alright. Two arch piles in the last room. It's actually some crazy dehacked enemies in here that combine all the powers of the spider yes. demon, cyber yeah. demon. There's two Zornoxes in the last mm. room. Oh my god, another Create Expectations reference? This is depressing. Play my maps. Alright, now what? Oh, it wasn't a Create Expectations. It was, it was 
you, you said a word rivers. that exists in crate expectations. That's all I need. Oh, okay. <laughs> what I mean, it says the word crate. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, guess what to say. Way. I have high expectations for you. Oh, another crate expectations reference. Holy shit, they made a movie based on Clippy's Wad? They wrote a there book. Was a book. <laughs> He's coming on like friggin' Kramer from Seinfeld. Oh, Another Festivus in miracle! In that corner? Yeah, isn't there a switch over? Hang on. No, the other corner? Yeah. No, the other one. right? Yeah, yeah, but I did this corner. No, no, do the corner opposite of this one. The kitty, kitty corner to it. Oh shit, man. Okay, yeah, switches. Yeah. Oh shit, buddy. This is what happens when Dark Pulse doesn't say, Hey Clippy, you didn't push that switch. Yes. I thought I was gonna platform or something. I don't know what I was thinking. They're just for. They're just, yeah. I thought it was gonna be platforming too. Yeah, it they're looked so, like it was setting something up. Away. But they actually far away. Yeah. Platforming. I don't know why I even thought that. Oops, blue. He's so ready. What? Oh, is it a trick exit? Nope. No. Always IDDT, I guess. The Titanic? Okay. Yeah, it's the Titanic themed one. Oh, oh there were there. just two guys in the building that you never cleaned up. Mm. Well, just dancing and prancing. Shucking and jiving. So these doors should probably be monster accessible, too. I don't know how much that would Well, that don't matter if they can't get to the door in the first place. Yeah, that's a pretty small door to have to find your way through when you're just an idiot oh, revenant with no brain. Go shut that revenant. Remove the husk. Expose the inside. Strip the flesh! Salt the wound! Give that Baron. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That seems like a, a good final encounter to end things on. Honestly. Well, honestly, these aren't, these aren't bad. I'll probably come back someday. We at least expect it. Play some more. What was that one called? Nukage pools? Toxicity. Toxicity? Toxicity of our city. Okay. What? System of a down. I'm scared this video is going to be like an hour long or more. <laughs> hey, that, I don't that's think very it's good that for long. the algorithm if it does well. Yeah, I'd say maybe probably closer to 50-55. Algorithm? This, this secret level's called Wolf and Bollocks. <laughs> Someday I might play that. <laughs> yeah, first time mapper, never mapped before, and it just throws together an entire megawatt in two months. I'm, I'm impressed. No matter what, that's an impressive feat. Mm -hmm. He would have had to have like dedicated his life to it and just like give her all day every day for two months. Yeah, That'll be you once you're retired, Clippy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, jeez. I don't know. I don't know if I'm ever making another megawatt again. That's a job, man. Like, you feel <laughs> drained when you're done. Feels a lot like this picture. I'm surprised he named his first... He has, like, Titanic imagery in his maiden voyage of mapping. Like... <laughs> it's like, like a big oh, moment to set yourself up for, like... <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna know. drown in the trees in Map 3. I mean, he does say for some a maiden voyage may end in disaster. Well, I'm not getting off, off the ice block for you, that's for sure. <laughs> well, you don't have to. I'll kick you off it. No. Yes. Don't you want to swim? Alright. Well, keep at her. Um... I don't know how to end videos, no. you guys. I'll be back someday, probably. Thanks just for abruptly along. end it. Like, one of us is talking, and you just decide to completely yeah, just, end like, it in, in the, the middle, middle of us talking. 